There's nothing worse than going to see your favorite team play, going up to the concession stand to get food, and missing the biggest play of the game. We are Stadium Express, and we are here today to help you skip the line since it's not worth your time. My name is Lindsay Etoff, and I'm here today with two of my team members, Jordan Zarey and Adam Sharoff. Unfortunately, our fourth and final team member, Tosin Asabodu, could not be here because he's home in Nigeria um, due to a death in the family. However, you will hear his voice a little later on in our short video that we will be showing. In today's presentation, I'm going to first go through an overview of the Stadium Express product. Then, um, Jordan is going to do a full demonstration of our current prototype. And following the demonstration, Adam is going to um, discuss the approach that we have taken throughout this year. I'll finally conclude with some of our accomplishments, our next steps moving forward, and um, open the floor to some Q&A. So Stadium Express is a mobile website where vendors can order concession stand foods from their seats and stadiums, and then go pick that food up from an expedited line at the concession stand. Our system also includes a um, back-end vendor interface, so the manager can manage the menu and the um, fulfillment of the order. I would like to now, um, we're going to show you a quick video, which is a further introduction to our um, product. So please enjoy. Stadium Express is the quick and easy way to order food from your seat at the live events. Patrons would rather avoid lines at the concession stand, while at the same time, stadiums would rather serve customers quickly. Stadium Express addresses both of these issues by providing an ordering platform that gives event goers and stadiums more convenience in this transaction. To all the sports fans out there, you will no longer have to miss that home run or touchdown because you are waiting in line for food at the concession stand. Fans, when your order is ready, you skip the line to pick it up and get back to your seat in time to continue watching the game. <laughs> so 
Sorry for that little technical difficulty, but I hope you could hear that okay. Um, so there was a brief demonstration, um, a quick overview in our video that you just saw of how to order um, the product. We're going to take you through a more detailed demonstration now uh, as Lindsay clicks along. So first you select your stadium. Uh, we're at Wound 10 right now. Also feel free to follow along um, from the instructions. Uh, mobile service permitting in this room is not very good, but uh, you can try. So let's say we're at the home concession stand. Now let's say you want to order uh, a Coca-Cola. So you just click add to cart. Now, one of the pieces of feedback that we got from the beta test was that, you know, when you're sitting there and you're ordering, you don't want to do a lot of clicking. You don't want to go to one page that's the cart and then click back to the menu. So after the beta test, we made a dynamic cart that pops up on the top of the page. So let's say, uh, you know, you want to order two sodas now. You can just click the add button. Um, similarly, you could remove the cart altogether at the top by just clicking the minus button again. So let's place the order um, and check out. So you just say proceed to check out. Now, as you type in your details, um, let's say you type it in incorrectly, uh, you enter in uh, something that's not an email address. We have uh, some sort of verification on our site so that a red box would pop up and say, error, please enter it. Um, so then we'll go ahead and we'll place our order. You just want to confirm that your details are correct. And then you press confirm. Now, as you press confirm, uh, you, as we showed you in the video, you receive an email confirmation, which then you'd bring up to the stadium and just show them. Um, you'd enter it on an expedited line, so you wouldn't have to wait in line. You'd show them the email <coughs> confirmation, um, and then they will hand you your food. Uh, at the same time that you receive this email confirmation, the vendor will receive an alert, a push notification that will pop up. Um, they will then log on to the vendor website. Um, all the information is secure, so as you saw, you had to enter your email address. Um, now, in order to access that, the vendor would have to log in for security reasons. So you see that you have one order in the queue. You then click the orders page. And as it pops up, the first thing that you should notice is that the status says waiting, which means that the order has been delivered to the vendor website, but they haven't yet touched it. Now, after they process the order and they fulfill it, they can then press filled which means that the order is ready to be picked up by the user. Um, once the, uh, the order is picked up, then the vendor can then archive it. So as you see, this is an easy way for them to keep track of the orders that are in their queue. Now, if you want to look at your past history, we have functionality uh, that allows the vendors to then see more information that they were getting. So instead of just knowing, you know, we sold 100 pretzels at this game at this one concession stand, they know when it was ordered, uh, how long it took to fill, how long it took to be picked up, and, you know, if you ordered a pretzel, did you also order a soda? Um, so this gives the vendor a lot more information. Um, again, we uh, were working on some other functionality, so possibly, you know, you can use this data and then help managers better model their, uh, and handle their inventory at different times. Uh, I'm then going to pass it off to Adam, who's going to tell you a little bit about how we got to where we are. So once we came up with the concept for Stadium Express, there were two major decisions that need to be addressed. First being uh, whether to create a system based on delivery or a system based on pickup. Uh, we spoke with the Executive Vice President of Facilities at Madison Square Garden, who advised us that a delivery service is not really feasible for an entire stadium, and that a pickup, it kind of reaffirmed our belief that a pickup system would be, e would be easier to implement and would involve the least amount of change in the existing infrastructure of a concession stand. Second decision was whether to create an application specific to a certain operating software or a mobile website. We felt that a mobile website would be accessible to anyone who owned a smartphone and could access the web, and also that we could save the user time by allowing them to avoid visiting an app store and downloading software. Um, once we were ready to code, we decided to use a language called Ruby on Rails, which is a language that was released in 2004, <coughs> specifically for web development. Uh, we also spoke to experienced web developers themselves who strongly advised using the language for our site. Um, once coding got underway, we took advantage of a, software, uh, of a site called GitHub. GitHub allowed us to place our source code on a central location on their website, uh, and that was really useful because we could make edits and changes to our code, and um, if Lindsay made a change to one part of the site, the code would automatically update on my local machine. So it just made the whole coding process a lot easier and more efficient. Um, once the code was ready, we used a site called Heroku to deploy and host the site. Um, Heroku is the same service that hosts both Foursquare and Twitter. Um, once the site was up and running, we got in contact with the directors of facilities here at Penn and set up the beta test that you saw in the video at, over at Mikkeljohn Stadium for a Penn varsity baseball game. Uh, and then using the feedback we received, we, we you know, continue to improve the product to what you see today. 
I'll now pass it on to Lindsay, who will talk about our accomplishments up to this point and steps we'll be taking moving forward to, to further improve our product. So throughout this year and up to this point, we have um, had several accomplishments that can be broken into three different categories. Functionality, um, value add for the vendors, and then testing and demonstration. In terms of functionality, we have a fully functional, up and running user website and also back end um, vendor interface. When it comes to the value add that we give to vendors, um, we're pretty much giving them a way where they can create and generate a detailed database of order habits and customer information, which will be very valuable for them. And then finally, when it comes to de uh, testing and demonstration, we, as Adam discussed, we had a very, very successful beta test at the Penn baseball game, and then a successful ESC demo day last week where we received a lot of positive feedback and won the Norman um, Gross Award. So after our accomplishments, um, we have broken our next steps um, into two separate categories as well. We have functionality and um, same expense as a business venture. In terms of functionality, we are working on um, incorporating a secure payment system, PayPal, in, into our current prototype. Next, we're figuring out the best way to filter and sort stands so that based on proximity to the user as well as wait time. And then finally, we're, we want to incorporate functionality to export the history database to Excel so that the managers can further, further analyze the data. Our next steps when it comes to Steam Express as a business venture includes um, IP protection. So we've been speaking to several lawyers regarding uh, trademarks and patents. And we've also been in contact with individuals at Aramark, which is a concession stand vendor, as well as Madison Square Garden. Um, before we open the floor to questions, we just wanted to say, thank the following people up on the board because without their help and advice, we really wouldn't have been able to make the product that we got to today. So we'd like to thank you all for your time and open the floor to any questions. <laughs>